Hi, it's David Raleigh with Music Scene. The Dorfels, a family band synonymous with the keys, travel the world, amazingly talented, amazingly bright, a joy to behold. I caught up with them at Sloppy Joe's, watched the show, they were incredible. Caught up with mom, dad, and sisters, one of whose lead singer, at the Marathon Music Video Festival, where they were performing. It's a great interview, funny bunch, great family. Check this out. And this is the Dorfel family, part of the Dorfel family. It's a very large family. Tom, tell us a little bit about your family. You've been uh, busy for 20-something years making family. <laughs> Good one, David. Yeah, we're, well, we're neighbors. We're yes. fellow New Yorkers. And um, the biggest thing that sticks out in my mind, like we met, first mentioned, was 24 years ago, my beautiful wife here was pregnant and, and had a, a conviction of wanting to homeschool our kids. 24 years ago. Yeah, I thought, I remember my first question, is that legal? You know, and she, you know, she gave me the help. So she worked on me. And then um, when she finally said, well, we can always send them to school, I thought, oh, that's a novel idea. Okay, you know, I guess if it makes her happy. Boy, it's made just more than her happy. So here we live in the Keys now. How many kids do you have? Um, just 10. Well, no, it was easy. Kimberly's our favorite daughter. There you go. So uh, She's the only daughter, right? Oh, we're two daughters now. You have a daughter. Well, this is my, my loosely adopted daughter, Nina. Nina grew up down here in Key West. She's what you call conch. Um, that's a native Key West uh, person that was born and raised here. So, Cheryl, let me ask you a question. How do the kids get involved in music? You were homeschooling them. Were you teaching them music as well? I was teaching piano lessons to other kids. And somewhere along the line, I wanted to learn the banjo. I started teaching myself, and then TJ, when he was eight, asked me to teach him. I started teaching him, and he got better than me. And then Kim wanted to play the fiddle, so we got her one, and she started on that. And then I started playing guitar, backing them up. And, um, and then more kids started playing, and then they all got better than me, and I got the boot. Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly. So are you the lead singer of the band because you were the, only, you were the first child? I was the first to be brave enough to sing on stage, actually. <laughs> and what are your uh, musical influences as far as uh, vocal singers that you like? Or since you kind of lead the band, is it the band? I know you start off with bluegrass, mm -hmm. but now you sing. Uh, we sing acoustic, all sorts of stuff. It, it really covers a very broad range of. And do you choose the songs or? Oh, we all choose together. It's a, it's a very corporate thing. We all get together and everyone says, I hate that song. We're not doing it. So it kind of. Everyone gets their say. <laughs> Great. The Dorfa Band, it's amazing. And Nina, are you going to start singing in the band as well? Or do you sing in the band now? I already do. And I also have my own band that branches off from theirs. And I come up and do a few songs every show, and I run their sound. It's a family event. We have a website, The Dorfels. Now, if you can spell it, I'll give you 50 bucks right now. <laughs> D-O-E-R-F-U-L. Oh, man, I, that was close. That was no! I was wrong. Oh no! That's how everybody. What did I do? How do you do it? it? How do you spell it? D o e r f e l. Uh, it means literally small village in German. Word German descent. Wow. So thedorfels.com.